Finding an affordable place to live can be a challenge, especially in a growing metro area like Salt Lake City. Fox 13's investigative consumer reporter Robin Oginye takes a look at some programs, old and new, that you should consider if you're on the hunt for cost-effective housing. The Utah housing market is hot with no signs of cooling anytime soon. The start of June brings the return of the Section 8 housing program in Salt Lake City. The Housing Authority closed applications for the program three years ago after the waiting list grew to 6,000 households. Section 8 is typically considered to be for lower income homes, but as the Deputy Director for the Housing Authority explains, it covers a wider swath of families. Affordable housing, you know, it is anything 80% and below of average median income. So that includes teachers, police, uh, nurses, uh, all the individuals. It does not mean you're necessarily without a job. While housing developments are popping up rapidly here, most of them are luxury complexes, which can make finding reasonably priced living a challenge. In Salt Lake, they anticipate the, the number of affordable housing options. Again, that's 80 percent and below of AMI, whether you're on a program or not, is about 2,000 units short. It's a gap Bank of America is trying to fill in Utah. A new program to help would-be home buyers cover some of the initial cost of getting a home, and you don't have to be a current Bank of America customer. You could be eligible for grants totaling $17,500. The amount of money you receive is based on location, where you find that home. It can be in a low to moderate income area, or it can be in a moderate to high income area. What changes is the percentage of adjusted moderate income. If you're looking to buy in a lower moderate income neighborhood, you could get as much as 150% of area median income, or AMI. For moderate higher income neighborhoods, you can still get up to 80% AMI. What do these Bank of America grants cover? There's two different types. The American Home Grant gets you up to $7,500, it can cover closing costs and applies to any home in the state of Utah. The down payment grant can get you up to $10,000 or 3% of the down payment you need for a home, but only applies to certain neighborhoods in the state. It's possible to be approved for both grants. Bank of America says you can apply for the money at any point in the home buying process, but suggests getting pre-approved before you start looking. That's the advantage of the down payment grant. And the benefit behind that program is you know a couple of things. Number one, how much can I truly afford? Are you going to get the, the, the grants um, to go with them? We'll, um, we'll know that through that pre-approval process. And then you have 90 days to go find a home. That pre-approval is good for 90 days. Neither grant has to be repaid. However, if you receive the down payment grant, plan to file a 1099 because it is considered income. Whether you're looking for affordable housing or keys to a new home, Agencies in Salt Lake and the state are trying to make that process easier. I'm having the capability to apply online um, where people can do it from their cell phones, from home. They can come into our office. Applications for Section 8 open June 1st and will remain open for an undetermined amount of time. The Housing Authority told me within the first two hours of opening the applications, more than 1,200 families applied. The link to apply is with this story on fox13now.com. You'll also find other types of housing you might be eligible for. If you want to take a look at what homes in Utah are eligible for either of those Bank of America grants, they've made it easy. That link is also included with this story on our website. Robin Oginye, Fox 13 News, Utah.